This video will show you how to use saved clipboards in the Lightorama sequence editor. So let's create a little pattern over here, let's say a V, and we can select this area and copy it. Now it's copied into clipboard number one because that's the selected clipboard. We can in fact rename this clipboard to V so it's easier for us to remember which clipboard's which. Right now there's only one clipboard, but let's add a new one clipboard number two, and let's say it's a, a twinkle checkerboard, and copy that into clipboard number two, and we can rename this one to checker twink. And now if we paste from checker twink, it'll paste that. If we paste from V, it'll paste that. And that's great. And uh, now we can close the sequence editor. Let's not save that sequence. And start the sequence editor up again. Let's say, you know, we've done our sequencing for the night and now go to bed, wake up in the morning, and of course the first thing we do is start sequ sequencing again. <laughs> and now you'll see those clipboards that we made are gone. So we could make them again, but that might be a bit of a pain especially if we have some patterns that we really like and we want to keep for a long time. So there is a way to keep them. So let's make a new animation sequence. And once more, let's uh, make this checker twink pattern and copy it. And now it's copied into clipboard number one. So we can right click on clipboard number one and save clipboard. That'll prompt us for a name for the clipboard. So again, we'll call it Checker Twink. And it has become this new color, which means it is saved. It's also become locked, which means we can't copy to it unless we unlock it. Now, what does it mean for it to be saved? Well, let's close the sequence editor again and start up the sequence editor again. I'll take a second to start up here. And now, Checker Twink is back. And we have another clipboard, clipboard number one, which we always do when we start up the sequence editor. But the important part is Checker Twink has been saved. Let's start up a new animation sequence. And we'll select the Checker Twink clipboard and paste from it. And there it is, even though we've uh, stopped the sequence editor and started it up again. In fact, you could even stop your whole computer and start it up again. Checker Twink will remain. Now let's make another pattern. Uh, again, let's do the V that we did before and copy that into clipboard number one. And now before we just right clicked on the clipboard and selected save and it prompted us for uh, the name of the, se the clipboard we could have renamed the clipboard first. So now V here is uh, named V, but it's not saved. If we save it now, like d later we decide that we really want to keep this one, so we save it, it just saves it. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't prompt us for a name because we've already named it V. Now, uh, if we close the sequence editor and once again start it up, Again, this will take a moment just to start things. We see that we have both Checker Twink and V, and of course, clipboard number one, which is just a blank clipboard to begin with. Let's make a new animation sequence. We can paste from Checker Twink. We can paste from V and switch back and forth between them as often as we want. We could also switch to the, the clipboard number one, which is an unsaved clipboard, but we could save that later if we wanted to, too. Um, now, one final thing is, let's say we get sick of this Checker Twink clipboard. We no longer want it, really, so we can remove it, and it's gone. Now, if we set a start up the sequence editor again,
we only have V in our saved clipboard section. We no longer have checker twink. Uh, however, it's not really gone. It's just not automatically loaded for us when we start up the sequence editor. So if later we change our minds, we decide, hey, we really did like checker twink and we want it back, we don't have to recreate it. We can just load clipboard. And that brings up a whole bunch of clipboards here. Uh, these are all clipboards that I've pre previously made. Uh, but the one in question that we want is Checker Twink. So let's select that and click Open. And now Checker Twink is back. So I think that's it for uh, saved clipboards. They can really make it easier for you to have patterns that you store as clipboards and use those patterns as the building blocks of more complicated sequences. I hope this helps.